Okay, so for video number 10, we're going to discuss something that's probably as volatile a topic as it is a useful one. Um, we're going to discuss what antivirus products to use. Now, I'm not going to tell you what products to use. As a, as a computer technician, I've got friends that out of four friends, none of them use the exact same products that I use or that I like. Okay? Just period. Now we do use some of the same things. All of us like uh, Spybot Search and Destroy, which is an okay product anymore. Um, all of us like Malwarebytes. All of us like Super Anti Spyware. Now all those products at the moment are hot to trot. Those products change, but all of us have different tastes. Somebody likes Trend Micro. Somebody likes ESETS Nod32. Somebody likes Bitdefender. Somebody likes Kaspersky. Some of us like combinations of all of them. But you can only really use one antivirus on that computer, especially for the customer. They need it to be a simple as possible. Their computer needs to be as secure as Fort Knox, but they don't need to feel like they're living in a prison. So antivirus products are insane. Now, as the second part of what we're talking about here is, is my other statement. Never pay full price for something if you can help it. A, you can sometimes resell these products to your customer. You can get them brand new. I mean, here is a $60 product uh, out on Amazon.com for $14.98. You can resell this product brand new. Make sure it says it's new, sealed, in box. But you can turn around and resell that to your customer if your flavor is is uh, Kaspersky. If your flavor is AVG, you can get it. You can get a. Um, I think it's about a $50 or $60 product for $22.94. So you can make money reselling these. But the other thing to remember is, look at the number of users, because if you're going to use it for yourself, like here's a three user edition of Kaspersky Antivirus 2011, I need to actually renew mine. So when the time comes, I'm probably going to buy, because I use a copy of Kaspersky 2011, I'm going to grab that three user edition. Now, on as I've mentioned a couple videos ago, on my two main computers that I troubleshoot other people's systems off of, excuse me, I use uh, Kaspersky on one of them. I don't use the firewalled, um, you know, full total security packages because I need a good sharp knife and it doesn't have to be the ultimate Swiss Army knife to do the job. All that stuff's just going to get in my way when all I'm doing is scanning for viruses, spyware, trojans, and the like. So um, I do happen to use currently, as of March of 2011, I do use a copy of um, Kaspersky. Now, notice this thing says it's for Windows Vista 7 or XP, so I can put it on any of the copies that I have. Uh, and it's a three user edition. So as I continue to grow my company and I add that third coveted uh, new PC, I can turn around and add a copy of that to it. So again, you can grab, you know, you can grab them much cheaper than if you went into a store somewhere and paid 60 bucks. Don't waste your money. You could have uh, four or five antivirus programs that are excellent programs for the price of one retail if you're careful. Um, another product out there that a lot of people like is AVG. I, again, I'm not advocating it. I'm just telling you the kind of money you can save. Uh, notice it's compatible with Windows Vista 7, 2000, or XP. Uh, then you come over to Bitdefender, which for a long time was a favorite of mine. I'm probably going to have to rapidly switch to something else. The, to me, their product is declining, and I can't trust it as much as I used to be able to. The false positives are up. The glitches are up. It's like they lost some of their best people, and I'm sad because I really know how to use this product, and it used to be really good. But you can save a lot of money on it. Three PCs for 1434. Come over to ESET's Nod32. Some people like it. Some people don't. Um, it's a $50 product. You can get it for $29. 999 new and uh, so you can you can save quite a bit of money on it again another product I'm not a fan of but a lot of people like is webroot antivirus again I am not a fan of it but instead of spending 50 bucks on it, you can get it for twelve dollars and 39 cents so think about that you can save a lot of money on these things a lot of a lot of technicians tell me well I only use free products well there's two problems with that one is right in the EULA the end user license agreement it says you are not supposed to use that free antivirus at all for business so if you're using that free antivirus for business you shouldn't be you shouldn't be using it to fix other people's computers secondly um, so you, again you shouldn't have it on your business computer secondly I'm big a big fan of you get what you pay for other than with a handful of exceptions such as super anti spyware and uh, and uh, spy bot search and destroy and malware bytes and God only knows what else is coming out you know the day after I post this video um, 
you really do get what you pay for and I like to be able to provide something for my customer another thought on that is you can join some affiliate programs out there and actually make money uh, selling some of the products that you trust and really like so anyway hope you've enjoyed these videos don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out these links if you come down below the video you're watching and click the drop down there's a link directly to these products out on Amazon where you can save a lot of money have a great day bye